In today's video, we're gonna talk about iodine and why you may wanna consider supplementing with iodine and the problems associated with iodine deficiency. Now, who should consider supplementing with iodine? Anyone who's trying to conceive, both men and women, iodine deficiency during the first thousand days of life, I'll flash up here on a screen, a study, showed it's really important for fetal brain development, for just helping with neurologic function in children. Uh, their iodine deficiency has been well characterized over the years, and iodine deficiency is linked with all sorts of neurologic abnormalities in developing children. So I think breastfeeding women, women that are trying to get pregnant, and women that are pregnant, and young children, those are the people that really need to support iodine and might want to consider iodine supplementation. Why? Because a lot of you are eating a low carb ketogenic style diet. You're avoiding things like bread. Maybe you're avoiding uh, iodinated food and processed food because you're making your food from scratch, which is great, but you may not be getting iodine, especially if you don't eat any fish, seaweed. If you live in the Midwest or the mid part of the country, uh, if you're filtering out your water, doing things like that, or if you have a chlorinated or brominated swimming pool or hot tub that you or someone you care about goes into, and here's yet another source of a problem, and I'll explain why in just a moment, but flame retardant type chemicals. So we have a lot of flame retardant type chemicals uh, in our bedding, in our pillows, furniture. If you're not being proactive in purchasing furniture that has flame retardant free material, you could be getting fluoride from that. Fluoride is found in a lot of flame retardants, and we know that the halogens, so these are the chlorine, the bromine, and the fluoride, fluorine, these competitively you know, uh, uh, they compete with each other, the halogens do. We're not used to, you know, 500 years ago, you were not getting a lot of roaming, you were not getting a lot of chloride, you are not getting a lot of fluoride in your environment, you were getting iodine. So our environment has changed, and so that's creating more of an uphill battle in terms of creating or exacerbating the underlying iodine deficiency. So we know infertility is on the rise. We know that developmental issues in children is on the rise, ADD, ADHD. Uh, there's a lot of conditions. Now, I'm not here to say, and we can't in these videos, say that iodine can treat, cure, or prevent disease. All we can say is that there are a lot of health issues for which iodine can support. So we're talking about supporting whole body health here. Iodine fits in that puzzle. Um, your body, and these are some articles that I'll start flashing up on the screen here, and uh, I'll link to a blog post. Your body concentrates about 15 to 20 milligrams of iodine per day. Now, for example, in one of our, our tablets here, the whole body iodine, it delivers about 12.5 milligrams of combined iodine. I recommend taking that like every other day, two days a week. You don't have to take it every day, especially if you've been taking it for a while. One of our droplet here has 150 micrograms of iodine. Now, your thyroid needs about 60 micrograms of iodine, J just your thyroid. L let's forget your prostate, your uterus, your breast, if you're a female, obviously. Uh, there's, there's other extra thyroidal tissue, non-thyroid tissues that concentrate and depend upon iodine for their function. So just your thyroid alone, you need 60 micrograms per day. Okay, so again, if you're ditching the bread, which I recommend, because you're on a low-carb diet, if you're not eating seaweed, fish, you know, if you're exposed to bromine or chloride, if you have flame retardants in, in your, you know, bedding and pillows, you can imagine here, uh, and maybe you had a baby so that, you, you know, you're breastfed, you, you got rid of a lot of iodine in breast milk for, for helping your, your baby, because that, that's where a lot of iodine is concentrated because we know it's so important for thyroid hormone and thyroid health uh, is really important for developing babies. You can see how here we can create a deficiency in iodine. And so this is where, for really affordable levels, you, you can supplement your, with iodine uh, you know, on a budget, basically. So uh, for, for like pen, pennies a day, cents a day, you can replenish iodine levels. And again, the first thousand days of life, really important. This was something that in my household we were adamant about with my wife and my daughter is making sure that we have enough folate, B12, and iodine uh, and vitamin D. Those were the four things really that we really prioritized um, and I think are, are so important for developing babies. But I, I, I do wanna just share with you some of these articles. Um, here's, here's one uh, titled here, Iodine Requirements During Pregnancy Lactation and the Neonatal Period and Indicators of Optimal Iodine Nutrition. So again, infertility is on the rise. We know so many people more, now more than ever are going to fertility clinics, having fertility issues. Again, I'm not saying iodine is like the, the, the only thing one should consider, 
But unfortunately, a lot of people aren't even considering that. They're spending tens of thousands of dollars on fertility treatments and probably not even being told about iodine. Iodine is really important for the developing fetus. Um, this is another article titled, Iodine Nutrition and Status During Pregnancy and Lactation Before and After Government Initiatives to Improve Iodine Status in New Zealand, a pilot study. So uh, this study showed that um, giving women that are breastfeeding iodine uh, improved um, growth scores and, and neurocognitive scores in babies. That was one article. There's just so much here. Uh, this was Cleveland Clinic right here. Uh, interesting. Cleveland Clinic Journal of Medicine is a journal. Iodine deficiency clinical implications. So um, thyroid dysfunction, growth issues in children, uh, lactation issues um, for mothers. So tons of data here, friends. There's, there's so much data here. This was the article I wanted to share. I'll throw it up on the screen. Iodine as an essential nutrient during the first thousand days of life. And again, this goes back to the importance of optimal thyroid levels for neurocognitive development in children. So really important stuff, friends, things that we should all really be considering, uh, especially as parents, new parents. You know, we, we want to give our children, you know, the best shot at an optimal life, you know any neurocognitive issues, behavioral issues, learning issues, memory issues, is going to make school and, and social interactions more challenging. We want to prevent that if we can. Uh, and, and last, and, and there's multiple other articles. We can make probably a thousand videos on iodine, but this is an article. The title is Iodine Nutrition Status and Its Association with Microvascular Complications in Urban Dwellers with Type 2 Diabetes. So poor iodine nutrition was linked with increased complications amongst individuals with type 2 diabetes. So again, we can't say that iodine cures diabetes because that would be egregious. But what we're seeing here is when we have a, a deficiency of a key nutrient, there are, it, it may exacerbate some of the side effects associated with different diseases such as diabetes. So again, we gotta focus on the foundations. One of the things that I focus on with my clients is just covering the basics, right? We can get really esoteric and complex with carb cycling and fasting and all these things, but we gotta focus on the basic friends, on the basics. And so that's why one of the, the flagship formulas and bundles that we have here is our iodine bundle that features two different types of iodine. So what you, what you get here with our whole body iodine is molecular iodine and potassium iodide. So they're, they're different. Uh, different tissues in the body absorb different forms of iodine. So you have this combination formula. Also, we have the liquid form that can be utilized topically. It can be put in water. So I like to use this when I'm out backpacking, if I'm in the backcountry, you know, just making sure that my water or if I melt snow for water, um, just you know, helps with maybe preventing giardia and, and other um, you know, things like that. It can, it's a great way to sneak iodine into my daughter's nutrition because she is not ready yet at eight years old to swallow tablets. You can use it topically for breast health. A lot of women do that, or as a vaginal douche, you can do it. There's just so many applications here. And again, this is very affordable. And you're probably, I would, I would bet, you're not getting it from your diet. And there's a lot of things in your environment that are antagonizing the absorption and, and total body status of iodine. So what I'll do is put links below. You can use the coupon code HIH to save on our iodine bundles. And I would love to know how you benefit from this and what your thoughts are. So um, thanks for tuning in. And as always, the references that we're talking about today, I'll, I'll put links below so you can access them. All right, friends, uh, as always, thanks for being here. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk with you all soon. Bye now.